TV with uh, Derek Brunson. Um, Derek, you have an upcoming fight um, on Strike Force Challengers. What are your thoughts about the matchup? Um, I like the matchup. I got a um, striker wrestler from AKA. Um, the guy looked to come forward, you know, try to score a lot of points. So I feel comfortable in the style that I prepared and just feel real good about the matchup. And for the fans that out there that haven't um, really seen you fight, can you describe um, what you bring to a fight? Um, I'm pretty excited. I like thinking of myself as a sighting fighter. Um, out of my eight pro fights, I have seven finishes all in the first round, like I think under two minutes. So I pretty much go in there, just pretty much bringing the action and just taking it to the guys. And can you describe your background? Because you are an exceptional athlete. Can you kind of describe your background? Yeah, um, I, was, um, I wrestled at UNC Pembroke, um, Division II school in North Carolina. I was a three-time um, All-American there in wrestling. So. And after wrestling, um, you started working out with Henzo Gracie, is that correct? Yeah, well, um, actually, my first, I was here first, and then um, my manager, he's at Henzo Gracie, so I was down there for a little bit, went there for like uh, a couple times, maybe two weeks, but mostly down here at Jackson's. And how did you come, how did you hook up with Jackson's from North, uh, North Carolina? I like to think of myself as an intelligent guy, so whenever I decided I was going to do MMA, you know, I did my research and found out where the best guys were training at and where people had the highest success rate, so... I uh, researched it and it was Jackson's MMA, so I was like, hey, I need to take my mind there. We just took some video that um, of you hitting uh, mitts with uh, Coach ja uh, Coach Winklejohn. And um, besides, you know, your, your core wrestling, you, you are a very good striker. Um, is that from hard work or your athleticism or both? Yeah, uh, from this, I mean, this is the camp. I really worked with Winklejohn the whole time. I've been working two to three times a week. He's been really putting in a lot of work and also Greg Jackson just hooking me up with new tools. So uh, this has been my full count with him and just uh, elevating my striking game and picking up a lot of striking and just, you know, trying to put it all together, add it with my wrestling. And how about your conditioning? Because you're in phenomenal shape. Um, yeah. You went some hard rounds just, you know, striking here, but you look fresh. Um, what do you do for conditioning? Uh, well, I, I do sprints once a week. I do distance once a week, and I do a circuit on Saturdays. And then with Winkle John, I've been going two to three times a week. So, I mean, when you're on the pads with him, it's no relaxing, no breaks. I mean, the guy's trying to kill you. And also, uh, Greg Jackson, he has uh, fight simulations, so he's always turning it up with that also. And what is it like being here with the team? Can you kind of describe it for fans? It's, it's just the best atmosphere to training, you know. I mean, I hear a lot of stories of people going to other gyms and you got a lot of guys with egos and they just walk in and not talk to anybody or they're in there trying to knock people out. But it's not it's not like that here, you know. You got, like, top superstars, UFC champions, UFC vets in here. But, you know, everybody just trains together, talks to everybody, comes in here, trains hard. It's just a team here, so. And how's your, trans how's your transition been from uh, North Carolina to Albuquerque? Oh, it's a lot different, man. Back in North Carolina, I live on the beach, so it's a, it's a lot of nice weather, a lot of nice girls, you know. I mean, Albuquerque has nice girls, that's not what I'm saying, but, you know, North Carolina is just real sunny, real beachy. It's out here, it's a lot of mountains, kind of cold weather. And is most of your family back there, too? Yeah, most of my family is back in North Carolina. And what do they think of you uh, pursuing MMA? 
Oh, they love it. Well, at first, my dad loves it. At first, my dad was like, hey, you got a college degree. Why you want to go and do something like that? But I was like, hey, you know, I mean, I'm a competitor, so uh, this suits me best than sitting in the office all day. All right. All right. And um, who would you like to thank or acknowledge for this fight camp? Uh, I just want to thank Jackson's MMA for a whole, you know, Greg Jackson, Winkle Jod, and also my teammates and my two little beautiful girls back at home for letting me stay out here this long. And do you have any sponsors you would like to acknowledge? Uh, yeah. Um, Jocko uh, is sponsoring me for this fight, so I want to thank them for sponsoring for this fight. And everybody else, like my manager, Ali, from Hazel Gracie. Yeah. That's it. All right. We really appreciate you taking time for this interview and look forward to your fight and uh, continuing to win. Thanks, God. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah.